this episode of COD TV, we are talking about the James Brown drumming style. Yes, and be sure to like and subscribe for more epic musical content. Now, we'll mainly be covering Clyde Stubblefield and Jabbo Starks, who were both James Brown's drummers from the late 60s to the mid 70s. And historically, they are one of the most influential drummers of all time, influencing everybody from John Bonham of Led Zeppelin to Quest Love of The Roots. Now, how did that work having two drummers at the same time? Well, they didn't always play at the exact same time. Most of the time, James Brown would point to one drummer for something different. And even in the middle of the song, he would point to a different drummer if he wanted to hear something different. So we're gonna talk about the differences between both of their styles and how they worked together. Yes, let's first start by talking about Jabbo Starks, who is described as having a lighter touch. He played in traditional grip. If James Brown wanted more of a shuffle or something bluesier, he would usually point to Jabbo Starks and he helped define that one. Yes, playing really dominant on the one. And if you listen to the song, Make It Funky, you can hear him doing just that. Now perhaps one of my all-time favorite James Brown grooves, also played by Jabbo Starks, is the song Superbad, where during a jam session, Bootsy Collins, Catfish were playing to Jabbo, and they were doing that sweet Georgia Brown kind of comping, bop, 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 bop. And James Brown comes in and starts dancing, and Jabbo says, oh, this is a tune for dancers. So you're gonna be hearing the snare playing on the downbeat of one. And as I mentioned before, Jabbo Starks had a lighter touch on the drums, and you can hear this in the song Licking Stick, where he plays rim clicks. Now let's talk about Clyde Stubblefield for a little bit. He describes his playing style as pencil stick, where he's playing in match grip. I have seen him doing traditional grip in some of the early James Brown videos, but if you look at him in his later half of his life, then he's definitely playing match grip. He has more attack on the kick drum, very, very syncopated player. And if you listen to one of his most popular grooves, Cold Sweat, you can hear that classic displaced backbeat. Now all you gotta do is speed that up and you got a drum and bass jungle groove. Another classic in the James Brown drumming style is the fat back groove. And I'm just gonna play it for you instead of describe it. Now we can't 
can't go on without talking about giving the drummer some. Yes, a lot of times during live performances or recordings, James Brown would say, let's give the drummer some, count to four, and the drummer would go off and play the main groove, but with some variations on it. And he would do this instead of doing a straight up drum solo, and it would sound just as cool as if they were gonna do a drum solo. And these drum breaks would become some of the most sampled drum beats of all time especially the drum break in Funky Drummer. And a quick shout out to Melvin Parker, who played on James Brown's most popular tune, I Got You, I Feel Good also helping define the James Brown drumming style. And there you have it, just a few small examples of the drumming style for James Brown, Jabbo Starks, Clyde at Subblefield. And watch the Get On Up biopic. There's a scene in there where James Brown's talking to Craig Robinson, who's playing Maceo Parker, I think, and he tells him to play his instrument like a drum. And he says, every instrument is a drum. And a lot of times you'll see me playing other instruments. I approach those with a drummer's sensibility. Yes, it don't mean a thing if it ain't got no swing. You gotta have a, some type of groove and a strong rhythm, no matter what instrument you play. And if you listen closely to those James Brown recordings, there is a lesson to be learned in each and every one of them, whether you are a drummer or not, because we're all just drummers, right? So be sure to like and subscribe for more epic musical content. And in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.